MIL basketball for you. Fonseca jumping up against Apuna. We got everybody set out on the floor. And here we go. Ball's tipped around, ends up in the backcourt of Kinke Kalike, where Josh Manugan will track it down. Aaron Manugan, I should say. And he'll give it up to Elijah and Goring. And Goring will set up their half-court offense to get it to Bartleme. He kicks it far into the left corner to Manugan. Cross-court pass is almost stolen away, but it ends up with Ferreira. Ferreira had it, passed out, tried to pass it right back into him, and it's taken away by Rundle. And then Rundle's pass kind of came up on a strange bounce. He never really got the handle on it, but went ahead with a pass that ended up going out of bounds. He tried to pass off and just did not have total control of the ball and ended up throwing it away. So quickly our first turnover in the ball game. Just underway here at the Maui High School Gymnasium. Not Naalili with the ball. Sabre sitting back in a zone defense. Here's Ngoring firing up a three. And Elijah Ngoring puts the first three points of the ball game on the board. Back at the other end. B.J. Vallon actually in the starting lineup here tonight. They changed it from uh, what was originally. And Vallon with the ball at the point. Takes it to the free throw line. Trying to dump it off to the left side. Does so to Fonseca. He comes down and he knocks down a three. Daniel Fonseca answering right back. And we are tied at three. And going across midcourt for Kinke Kalike gets it to Bartleby. Back over to Ngoran. He's going to try another three. It's on the way in and out. Wouldn't stay down. And a fight for the rebound. And it comes off to Valoria. Valoria ahead to Fellow Cruz. And now they try to go down inside to Nichols. Nichols couldn't get a handle on it. And so it'll, it'll come back the other way following a Maui High turnover. Again, all tied up at three, six, 19, and counting down here in our opening quarter. And Goring walks it across midcourt for Kinke Kalike. Comes to Bartleme at the top. Bartleme into the corner now, left side to Ngoring. Quickly up on top to Manugan. Open for a moment. Old takes a shot. Dumps it down to the low post to Apuna. He'll go to Ngoring. Now to the right side wing to Bartleme. His bounce pass goes inside, and it ends up in the hands of... Austin Ferreira, and Ferreira taking it to the hole is fouled on the play. And let's see who they're going to call the foul on. That goes against number 20 for the Maui High Sabres. That is B.J. Vallon picking up the very first foul of our ball game. All tied at three. Austin Ferreira at the line, and he breaks the tie. Ferreira with his first point of the ball game. Just under six minutes to go here in our opening quarter. Ferrer at the line. One more shot coming. He rattles that one down, so he knocks them both in. And it is five to three. Not Ali'i on top. DJ Ballon across midcourt with it. And we got a little bump foul, and that's going to go against Elijah and Goring. And Goring just not getting his feet fast enough over. A little bump with the body called out on top. The ball's inbounded too. B.J. Ballon. Now down along the baseline it goes to Fonseca. He puts up a little roller. Will not go. Fights for his rebound. Got it back. Puts up a four-footer. It won't go, but Tristan Nichols is there for the tip-in. Nice to be broad-shouldered and about 6'4". He's taking up space and getting that position inside. That's Tristan Nichols. All tied at five. And Goring, right side corner. Takes it along the baseline. Put a shot up and it hit the side of the backboard. I actually think he was trying to pass it instead, but it comes uh, into the hands of Nichols. And here comes Maui High back the other way. Rundle from the free throw line, kicks it to the right wing over to Fonseca. Up on top it goes to Valoria. Valoria to Vallon. Vallon lost the handle on it in the corner, and it's taken away by Ingoring. Ahead it comes to Bartleby. Bartleby on the left side wing. A little stutter and then takes it in the paint, hangs in the air, puts up the shot, and Chasey Waddle Bartleby has two. And Kinke Kalike out on top now, 7-5. Ballon at the point, gives it up to Fonseca. Fonseca straight away, way up on top. The ball got away from him, though, and it's loose. It goes out of bounds, and the official says, last touch by Kinke Kalike. And so it'll stay with the Maui High Sabres. 
Denzel Quinas coming into the ball game and Vallon going out for Maui High. It's a makeup change at the point. And now the officials spot some perspiration down on the floor and they're going to have to find a towel somewhere. Look into the Maui High bench. The home team's got to provide a towel. They find one. And so play held up here momentarily. By the time they found the towel, all the players had gone out and taken care of it, rubbing their shoes on the floor. 4.33 to go here in our first quarter. 7-5. Kinke Kalike on top. Maui High with a chance to tie or take the lead if they could knock down a three. Ball's inbounded. And they get it into Quinius. Quinius starts left and comes back to the middle. Passes it off to Fonseca. Fonseca goes to the high post to Nichols. He's looking down inside, looking down inside. Finally gives it up to Valoria. Valoria on the right wing with his dribble. Takes it back to the middle. Maui tightening up the inside. Not really giving any kind of opening to penetrate. Valoria with it way on the left wing now. Gets a screen from Nichols. He rolls to the basket, but they can't get it to him. And that's because Charles Apuna knocked it away and knocked it out of bounds. So Maui High will inbound once again. Valoria to trigger it in on the sideline. Comes out near midcourt to Fonseca. He almost stepped on the, on the uh, midcourt line. Didn't realize how far out he was. Valoria with it way on the right wing now. Takes it to the free throw line. Hangs in the air. Puts up a shot. Too hard. No good. And a scramble for the rebound. Coming up with it was Manugan. And he passes it off to Ngoring. And Goring will bring it into the attacking zone as the Sabres get back defensively. 7-5, Na'ali'i on top, 3.40 to go, first quarter. And Goring just dribbling the ball out near midcourt, passes to the right over to the Bartleby, goes to the high post at a free throw line to Austin Ferreira, and coming over to contest his shot was Rundle, and Rundle's going to be called for fouling him on the back. Now the officials are going to talk it over here just briefly. And let's see who they're going to... Yeah, they make the right call. That goes against... Goes against... Kai Rundle. That is his first foul. And Austin Ferreira's first free throw shot here. No good. Coming into the game is Janelle Mateo now at a guard for Maui High. Austin Pereira at the line's got another shot coming here with 3.31 to go, first quarter. Missed them both. Bartleby inside comes up with the rebound, though, and he muscles up a shot that is no good, but he's going to go to the line as he is fouled on the play. And that one goes against Tristan Nichols. It is the third team foul on the Maui High Sabres. Follow me at the foul line. Shot is up. No good. Comes up short off the front of the rim. And we're still stuck at 7-5. Not Elite on top by two. Follow me with one more shot coming. And that one's on the way. And that one is good. So Follow me now with three points in the ball game. Mateo bringing it across midcourt. No, that's Quinius bringing it across midcourt for Maui High. Gives it to Rundle down on the baseline. Started to slip, but recovered and held his balance. Gives it to Quinius. Quinius to Rundle at the low post. Tries to work his way inside. Lost the handle on it. And Gory comes over with it. Throws a pass over his back to Bartleby. Bartleby on a breakaway. Missed the layup over the rim. Had some pressure there with him and tried a little reverse on it and threw it over the rim. Now they come back the other way. Rundle gets the ball down inside and he makes the shot. And that foul is going to go against, and that goes against Chase Bartleman. He picks up his first personal foul. And again, Rundle hit the shot. That's his first two points of the ball game. And so Rundle will be going to the line to shoot one. Now we've got to wipe up some perspiration. Very muggy in the gym here tonight. A lot of moisture in the air, and it's working its way into the gym and on the floor and on the ball. Yeah, very muggy night here at the Maui High School Gymnasium. Rundle shot too hard off the back of the rim. No good. And quickly Bartleby down the floor, puts a shot up, a little spin move in the paint. And he is now has five points on the night as he makes that one drop through. 
Quinas into the attacking zone. Up on top to Mateo. Carter goes through by Engoring. Almost got it stolen away, but he recovers. Mateo looks for someone to come out and set a screen for him. If Engoring comes up on him, he's going to make him, make him start counting here. Bad pass to the right side, but it's saved by Quinas. Back over to Mateo, not a fun second. He's calling for someone to come up. It's Quinas. Mateo gets it along the baseline, floats along the baseline, puts a little underhanded flip shot up. It won't go. Rebound to Bartleby. He wants to run. Bartleby cross court pass goes to Engoring. Back up on top to Ferreira. Bounce pass goes into Apuna. Pump fakes got his man in the air. Got stripped of the ball. And no call on the play. And we'll come back the other way with Maui High with it. Fonseca fires up a three. Off the rim. No good. Nichols with a strong rebound in traffic. Gets it. Kicks it out to one of his guards. Mateo with it. Quickly inside it goes to Fonseca. He backed in on Pereira. And he gets fouled from behind. And we're going to say the, the foul call came before the shot. Okay, the foul's going to go against... Instead of Puna, Charles Opuna picking up the foul. And it's going to be a non-shooting foul. So Maui High will inbound. Fonseca along the baseline. Quickly right underneath the Rundle. Rundle had it and lost the handle on it. But he tips it around, tips it around. Next thing you know, the ball falls through. Boy, that was a lucky bounce. And it's 10-9. Na'aliki on top. They've got the ball with a minute 34 to go here in our first quarter. Manugan, right side wing. Going to have to do something with it here. Finally puts the ball on the floor. Comes out to Apuna. Apuna to the left side wing to Ingoring. Up on top to Ferreira. Ferreira looks to the right side. Gives it up to Apuna way out on the wing. And now Manugan comes into the same neighborhood. Takes the pass. He passes it to the top. Now they swing it to the left side wing to Ferreira. Ferreira puts it on the floor. Trying to penetrate. He penetrate. He's cut off though. And he'll go over to Ingoring. And the Na'ali'i will reset their half-court offense here. We're milking quite a bit of time off the clock with this possession. And Goring on the left side wing. They dump it down to the low, pay, low post to Apuna. He works his way in I mean, against two tall guys for Fonseca and Nichols. Missed the shot. It's Nichols with the rebound. Quinas quickly down the floor from Maui High. Takes it to the baseline. And his pass back out. Stolen away by Bartleby. Bartleby to the hole. Double-handed stuff. No good. He just didn't get elevated enough. Oh, he wanted that one. He went for the two-handed stuff, then came up empty, but the Nali got the, the carom off the rim, and Bartleby's got it on the right side wing. Pump fake, won't take the shot. 15 seconds before the end of the first quarter. And Goring sees an opening, goes inside, dumps it back out to Apuna. His 15-footer on the way, no good. Nichols with the rebound, and then stolen away from him by Ngoring. Five seconds to go. They're going to have to get a quick shot here. Gory didn't see the clock. Now he fires at the buzzer. It's off the mark. And so we come to the end of our first quarter. A one-point ball game. King Kick Alike on top. 10-9 to nine over the Maui High Sabres. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more right after this on Maui PSBN Radio. Come in today and ask for me and we find the cool SCU your one-stop shop. Visit LaLucuFCU.com or call 244-7981. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. Back here at the Maui High Gymnasium, the Sabres will inbound. They trail 10-9 as we get our second quarter started here at the Maui High Gymnasium. Rundle with it on the right side wing. Quickly up on top to Quinas. They work it over to the left side to Mateo. Mateo goes high post to Nichols. Kicks it to the right side to Quinas. He'll use his dribble to bring it back to the top. Dumps it off again to Nichols way up on top. And then it is Mateo. He got loose of his man. Dumped it inside for Nichols. Nichols on his back with a pass. And we're going to have a travel called against Janelle Mateo as he got that ball. A little pump face and shuffled his feet. Nichols did a good job. He was down on the floor, on his back, got control of the ball, and made the pass from his backside. But Mateo unable to keep his feet from being happy feet. 7.31 to go here in our second quarter, just underway. 10-9, Kinkikaulike on top. 
And Nichols being a big boy, and he was down there rolling on the paint, on the floor. He had a lot of perspiration down the floor to, to clean up. They need a bigger towel. In Saturday, we will be at the Lahaina Civic Center, 6 o'clock game time. The Lady Lunas hosting probably Marinol, but they, they will be the winner of a Friday game tomorrow night. Marinol versus Kailua on Oahu. The winner of that gets on a plane Saturday morning and comes to Maui to take on Lahaina Luna at 6 o'clock at the Lahaina Civic Center. Second round action of the girls' Division I state tournament. And we'll be there courtside to bring you that one. Not Ali'i with the ball as we go back to live action. Austin Ferreira firing up a three. No good. Nichols inside with a rebound. Sabres can take the lead if they can score here, but from behind, Bartlemy just comes and steals the ball away. Bartlemy with a spin move in the paint. Passes to Ferreira on the right. He'll take it inside. Puts the shot up. No good. And we're going to have an offensive call, offensive foul call against Ferreira on the play. And for Ferreira, that is his first personal foul. 14 foul on King Kekaulike. And we want to invite everybody to join the club at ESPNMaui.com. All you got to do is go to our website, again, ESPNMaui.com, and click on Join the Club button, and you'll be up to speed on our giveaway promotions and other special information. Again, just go to our website at ESPNMaui.com and click on that button join the club. 10-9 is the score. Kinke Kalike on top of Maui High. The Sabres with the ball. A minute gone here in the second quarter. Mateo across midcourt for the Sabres. They'll lob it inside. The pass is taken away. Jake Frazee on the floor now for Maui High. Got it at the high post in his first pass handling the ball. He threw it right to Na'ali, and here's Ngoring firing up a three. It's off the mark, though, and Nichols taking it down and out of the sky on the carom off the rim. Maui High with another opportunity. Firing up a three-point shot. It's Bukleeg who's checked in from Maui High. Marquise Bukleeg. He knocks down a three, and it is Maui High on top now by two, 12 to 10. Ngoring up the floor. Sabres in their zone defense. Bartlemy with the ball. Wayside left left wing, way out. He'll back himself towards the corner. Passes off to Ngorin. Now we got Alfonso on the floor for King Kegaliki. He had it. Now they go to Bartlemy. Bounce pass inside. Then they go right back to Bartlemy. Left side corner. Now Ali moving around, moving around. They finally get it down inside. And it's Thompson who had it. Thompson kicks it back out to Ferreira. And now it is a three on the way by Alfonso, and Rundle comes down with a rebound for Maui High. And here comes the Sabres back the other way. Janelle Mateo near midcourt with it, picked up by Alfonso. He's going to have to do something quickly here. Finally gets away from the man, passes off to the corner to Frazee, but it was off of the fingertips of Bartlemy trying to go for the steal. Charles Apuna checks back in for King Kikalike, and for the first time tonight for Maui High, A.J. Bogoyo's coming in. 12-10, Maui High on top. For Z with it. Up on top, it comes to Bogoyo. Bogoyo to the right side to Rundle. He's quickly double-teamed. Dumps it down underneath the Frazee, and a pump fake gets Bartlemy in the air, and he commits the foul on the way back down. And so that foul will go against J.C. Waddle Bartlemy, and that is his second personal foul. Bartlemy, a very aggressive player defensively, gets, his, gets some foul trouble here again. Now the officials are going to talk things over here a little bit. Bill Naylor was not happy with the call. It was, there was no doubt about the call. I'm not sure what he was complaining about on that one. I mean, if Bartlemy stays on his feet, he's good shape, but he didn't. Came right down on top again. I'm not sure what he was complaining about. At the free throw line, was he able to knock them both down? 14-10 now. Maui High with a four-point lead. Off to Alfonso do the Na'ali. Goring with it. Maui High's zone defense really causing 
but not a lead to try to make things happen from outside. Now they've got a Puna back in the ballgame, and they take advantage of it, and he goes inside, muscles a shot up. Charles Apuna coming back off the bench. Coming up big there. With the ball is Bagoyo. Bagoyo gives it up to Bakli. He travels, no doubt about it. Dragged his pivot foot trying to change directions. Bakli coming close to getting a technical foul. He turned and looked at the official on the call and just kind of threw the ball up against the back of the, uh, you know, the baseline area on the wall. That's the swiftest of moves there. 14-12, Maui High with a two-point lead, 4.40 to go, second quarter. And Goring with the ball, gives it to Bartlemy, down along the baseline, goes to Alfonso. He cross-court passes it, now they go down inside to Opuna again, back out to Goring, he tries a three on the way, got it. That is his second three-pointer of the ball game. And it's not a lead back on top now, 15-14. At the other end, though, we're going to have a travel call. The guy that just checked into the ball game for Maui High is Dust Justin Dansel. And he got the ball at the high post and a little foot shuffle creating the uh, turnover. And Goring gives it to Alfonso. They go right side to Bartlemy. And Maui High clog in the middle with their zone defense. Now they not lead, go to the right side. We got a reach-in foul going to be called against Maui High, and that is Jake Frazee picking up the foul. That is his first personal foul. The fourth team foul on Maui High. Not a shooting situation, so the Na'ali will inbound. They get it to Apuna, quickly up on top. Now a quick pass to the corner. Now they get back on top to Bartlemy. He's shot way off the mark, though, and the rebound comes off to Dantel. Here comes Maui High. Della Cruz on the floor now for them, or DeGuayo rather. With the ball is, and firing up a shot, Ballon. And his shot went up and hit some of the wires that hold the, the basket stable. And so that is a dead ball, and it goes back over to Kinke Kalike. Ma'ali'i leading by one, 15-14, 3.34 left here before halftime. Bartlemy with the ball on the right wing. Passes into the corner that side, and Goring with it, lobs it down inside to Thompson. Back over to Apuna, Apuna to Alfonso on the left wing, down along the baseline to Bartlemy, goes to the high post to Apuna, out to Ngoring, down along the baseline to Thompson when it's again. He lost the handle on it, ball's being tipped around, tipped around, Thompson comes up with it, fires back underneath to Bartlemy, he puts up a shot that will not drop for him from just under the basket, and Maui High comes up with the rebound. DeGuayo, Nathan DeGuayo with it, brings it all the way down, takes it along the baseline, tries to go up with a shot, and he gets knocked to the turf, and he'll be going to the line to shoot two as the foul is called against Kinke Kalike, and that goes against Charles Apuna, and that is his second personal foul. Apuna picking up his second personal, so Austin Ferreira, who's on the bench, comes back into the ballgame quickly. And Apuna will get a breather. 2.56 to go before halftime. Apuna comes out. Ferreira back in. Aguayo. At the free throw line. Another shot coming here. On the way. And that one he got. So he's one for two. And he ties the game up at 15 apiece. As we go under three minutes. And Goring walks it up the floor for Kinke Kalike. Passes it off to Alfonso straight away up on top. To the left side it goes to Bartleman. Uses a screen by Ferrer, then gives it to Ferrer. Still on the left side wing though. Bounces it down along the baseline to Bartleman. Bartleman can't penetrate. Cross court goes inside to Thompson. Thompson takes it straight to the hole and puts it up and in. Strong move that time by Don Thompson. He gave him a, just a, an inkling of an opening, and he took advantage of it. Now Maguire with the ball. Goes high post to Fonseca. Fonseca guarded closely. Passes it off to Maguire. He'll fire up a three. On the way, Nathan Maguire knocks it down. And Maui High back out on top now, 18-17, as we hit the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. In Goring, crosses it over to the right corner to Ferreira. He'll fire the three on the way, and it is good. 
Austin Ferreira now with five points on the night. And the Nahali back on top now, 20 to 18. Maguire gets around his man, takes him in the paint, ran into some traffic, lost the ball, got it back, gets it over to Vallon. He gives it to Deguayo. Deguayo hangs in the air, off the glass with a runner, and he's got that one. And Nathan Deguayo with six points here in the second quarter, sparking Maui High as they have tied it back up at 20 apiece. And Goring picked up by Vallon. Off to the right side, it goes to Alfonso. Up on top to Bartleby. He'll pump fakes once, pump fakes twice, takes it in the paint. Probably put, should have put up the shot, but he passes it out to the wing to Engoring. His three is no good. Lincoln Bartleby puts up the shot. He gets fouled on the play. Now we go back the other way, and it is Ballon with a three on the way, and D.J. Ballon gets his first points of the game. And now Maui High Sabres on top, 23-20 with 44 seconds and counting down second quarter. Engoring hands it off to Bartleby. Bartleby starts right, comes back left, stops, pops from 15, off the mark, no good. And Vallon inside amongst the big boys comes up with the rebound. Quickly down the floor to go for DeGuayo, and we've got time out. They had DeGuayo underneath the basket, and the coach didn't see what the, was going to happen, and he called time out. We'll take a break. We have Maui High on top, 23-20. With the Maui High School Gymnasium, I'm Barry Helley for the ESPN Maui Sports Team. And we've got about 28 seconds left here before halftime. 23-20 is the score. Maui High on top of King Kekaulike. Sabres will be inbounding. Ballon will trigger it in along the baseline. They got the big boy Nichols back in the ball game. And Ballon has to hurry. Finally gets the ball in. And the pass are right back to him. Dela Cruz. Now they go inside to Rundle. Rundle muscles up a shot. And Nathan uh, Kainalu Rundle with two. Maui High with their biggest lead of the ball game, 25-20. 10, uh, 10 seconds on the clock as Ngoring comes across midcourt. Not sure he's acting like he knows how much time is left. Finally gives it up to Bartlemy. Bartlemy knows how much time's left. And now they kick it off. Manugan, three on the way at the buzzer, is no good. And so we have come to the end of our first half of play with Maui High on top, 25-20 to 20 over the Na'ali'i of Kinkekaulike. We invite you to stick around, and we'll be back in just a moment to bring you our halftime show, kind of recap this first half for you, and you'll probably hear the Maui High band in the background as we do so. So again, 25-20 is the score. Maui High on top of Kinkekaulike, and we'll be back after these messages right here on Maui's ESPN Radio. Maui County. All right, about ready to get our second half underway. It's going to be the Na'ali'i of Kinkikalike with first possession here is as our third quarter gets underway at the Maui High Gymnasium. 25-20, Sabres on top and Goring with the ball now as we are underway. Brings it over and passes quickly to the right corner to Ferreira. He kicks it to the wing to Bartlemy. They work it all the way around to Manugan. Manugan can't do anything around on the left baseline. They work it back over to Bartlemy. Quick pass down inside, stolen away by Nichols. Nobody was there on the receiving end, and here comes Maui High back the other way. B.J. Valoria getting the start in this second half. Also out there is uh, B.J. Vallon in the backcourt with him, and it's Vallon with the ball right now. Up on top it comes to Valoria. To the high post to Nichols. He turns, faces the basket, drops it down along the baseline to Rundle. Rundle tried to go up with a shot. Got the ball knocked away, but he comes back up with the loose ball. Gets it to Valoria. Back up on top to Vallon. Vallon will try to penetrate. Goes to the right corner to Valoria. He'll stop and pop from about 15 feet. No good. And we're going to have a foul as two guys got there about the same time. And the foul is going to go against King Kekalike's. J.C. Waddle Bartomey, and that's just a tough hustle call. It was a good call. Valoria got there just a half a step before Bartomey, and so they collided, and Bartomey called for his third personal foul. That is definitely got to be a concern for head coach Bill Naylor, and he's going to get Don Thompson off the bench and send him to the scorer's table. Valoria with the ball, quick pass down along the baseline, goes to Nichols, won't take the shot, up on top to Fonseca. Back inside to Nichols, Nichols puts up and his shot is no good, but we have a foul called on the play. And so Nichols is going to go to the line 
to shoot two after being fouled by Austin Pereira. And that is Pereira's second personal foul, first second team foul for Kinky Kalike here in the second half. Nichols going to the line to shoot two. Eyes the basket, first one is up, and it is in and out, no good. Thompson comes in and Bartlemy with three fouls goes out during this dead ball moment. Nichols at the line's got one more shot coming. The big sophomore lets it fly, and the shot is no good off the rim. And Apuna with the rebound. Passes it off to Ferreira. He looks for a guard, finds in Goring. And Goring up across midcourt. To the right side will go to Manugan. Bounce pass out along the baseline to Apuna. Pump fake's got his man going, and then Apuna takes it to the basket strong and is called for a travel. And so the turnover, giving the ball back over to the Maui High Sabres. Again, they lead 25-20, six and a half to go here in the third quarter. Manugan stays right, stays right with Milan as he comes across midcourt. Gives it up to Rundle now. Rundle straight on, dumps it down along the baseline. Nichols a shot up and in. And Nichols has his fourth point of the night. And Maui High has opened up their biggest lead of the evening, 27-20. And Goring comes down the other way with it to Ferreira. Ferreira back to Goring. He's open for a three. It's on the way, and he got it. Boy, that's a big bucket for the Na'aliti as Elijah and Goring hits his third tray of the night. Now back at the other end. Nichols goes strong, got under the basket, tried to put up a reverse layup. It wouldn't go. Got his own rebound and then was fouled on the play. And this one's going to go against Don Thompson. That is his first personal foul in the third foul against Kinky Kalike here still early on in the third quarter. And Nichols back at the line shooting two. The first one is up and it is no good. Nichols having a tough time at the line here in this quarter. He has missed three now in this third quarter. Let's see if he can break the ice with his next attempt. Shot is up, and it is good. He got that one. And it's a 28-23 game. Maui High on top. Pereira gives it up on top to Manugan. He works it to the right wing to Ngoring. Down along the baseline to Apuna. Muscles up a shot. No good. Ball tipped around, and Nichols can't hang on to it. And it goes out of bounds, and it will stay at the Na'alii end of the floor. And they take a moment to wipe perspiration off the ball. Again, a very muggy evening here inside the Maui High gym. Ball's inbounded to Apuna. Up on top to Ferreira. They swing it to Manuga. Now to Ngoring from the street, from the left corner. And he knocks down his fourth three of the night. Elijah Ngoring has brought Maui, uh, the Na'alii back to within two. Fonseca gives it up. They got it in the hands of Quinius, who's now in at the point. Quinnius hands it off to Vallon. Vallon looks to his left, passes it to Quinnius, bounces it on along the baseline to Thompson. Quick pass underneath to Nichols. Nichols straight up and good. Tristan Nichols, only two points in the first half, and he's already got five here in the third quarter. And Goring to Ferreira, but way away from the basket to Manugan. Manugan looks to the left, passes over to Ferreira. Ferreira sees an opening, tried to take it inside, lost the handle on it, picked up, lead pass to Quinius, and he tracks it down and then has to pass it back out to Fonseca. They go to Vallon. Uh, Vallon. Vallon will take it into the paint, and Charles Apuna comes up and swats that one away. Nice block that time by Apuna. Into the ballgame now for Maui High is Jomar De La Cruz and also uh, Denzel Check that, that would be Janelle Mateo. Changing out some of the guards. Mateo with the ball. Straight away it goes to Nichols. This pass taken away by Ngoring. And Ngoring goes down and he's challenged by Nichols. Puts up the shot. Too hard though. And the ball knocked away. And it's going to belong to Maui High. And here come the Sabres back the other way. 
Missed opportunity that time down the floor. And Mateo goes inside, and we're going to have a reach-in foul. That one's going to go against Manugan. That is his first. Yes, it is. And that is the 14th foul on King Kalike. Maui High is yet to commit a foul here in this half. 30-26, Sabres on top. They inbound it right to Rumble under the basket. And he's got another two for Maui High. 32-26 is the score. Sabres on top. We hit the four-minute mark midway through the third quarter. And Goring, guarded closely by Volan, gets around him, goes in the paint, lost the handle, but that's because we have a reach-in foul. And that one is going to go against Maui High's Mateo. That is his first personal foul, first team foul of the half on the Sabres. Falls inbounded to Apuna along the baseline. Try to go around Nichols. Nichols holds his ground. Kicks it into the left corner to Ferreira. His three-pointer off the front of the rim. No good. Ball knocked around. Ends up with Ngoring. And Goring goes in. Then kicks it into the right corner to Ferreira. He won't take the shot. They bring it back out on top to Ngoring. Ngoring picked up by De La Cruz. Now he'll take him to the baseline. And... Passes it into the paint. Apuna pump fakes once. Kicks the pass off to Thompson. Thompson won't shoot. Goes back inside to Apuna. Ball got knocked right back to him, though. And now we're going to have a push foul down inside. And not a shooting foul. That one's going to go against Crispin Nichols. And that is his second personal foul. Second team foul. We got a timeout on the floor. It is Maui High by 6.32 to 26 is the score. 3.14 left here in the third quarter. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more right after this message on Maui's ESPN Radio. Reminder from the HCNS and East Valley Irrigation. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. Maui High School Gymnasium. Sabres on top of the not Lee. 32 to 26. 314 to go here in the third quarter. Lots of time left. And of course, the uh, reigning MIL player of the year, Chasey Waddle Bartlemy, on the bench right now with three fouls. And here we go. Back to live action. Kinke Kalike will be inbound. They get it up on top to Manugan is shot on the way from three, will not go, but a long rebound tracked down by Apuna. He'll give it to Ferreira, who hands it off to Ngoring. He's the guy with the hot hand. He's got four threes in this ballgame. They go back to Ferreira straight away on the top. Into Ngoring, he'll fire up another three on the way. That one got partially blocked, and it comes up short. And Quinius with it, and ahead it goes to De La Cruz, and he lost the handle on it. And he goes out of bounds. That'll be a Maui High turnover, giving the ball back to Kinkikalike. Manugan will inbound. Bartlemy is at the scorer's table, getting ready to check in. And Goring across midcourt goes to Ferrero, way out on the left wing. Ferrero to the free throw line, stops, pops, shot on the way, no good. And the rebound's yanked down by Nichols with Maui High. They lead 32-26. Quinius up the right side of the court, up on top to Magoyal. Magoyal will back away from his defender. Takes him to the left, now bounces to the high post. It goes to Nichols. He's double teamed. Gets it off to Magoyal. Three-pointer on the way, off the rim, no good. Nichols hustles down for the rebound. His shot will not go, came up short. And an outlet pass to Ferreira, and he traveled. The call is traveling. I think he tried to avoid stepping on the sideline. And kind of a funky call that time. You know, officials checking the where's the spot of the uh, the infraction. They need to know where the inbound from Maui High. Again, they lead by 6, 32-26. Magoyo inbounds to Quinius. Sabres with the ball and the lead. They go to Jake Prezee. Prezee turns, faces up his man, takes it to the baseline, puts up the shot, no good. And then Goring comes up with a loose ball for King Kikalika. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. And Goring to the free throw line, stops, pops, comes up short. Rebound off to Thompson, back out to Ngoring. Quick pass inside to Bartlemy. Bartlemy kicks it back out. They go to Thompson at the free throw line now. Back out on top to Ngoring. They reload their half-court offense. 
the left side wing, it goes to Bartlemy. Bartlemy guarded closely by Rundle. Sees an opening, dumps it down underneath. Thompson right underneath the basket. Has got an easy two points. His first bucket of the second half. Magoyo across midcourt. Gives it up to Quinius. He'll lift it a coach to Coach Lloyd Leverett. He's got his play call. Takes it still up on top. He's got to get rid of it. Pass to the left side. Tracked down by Bagoyo. Bagoyo takes his hand to the free throw line. Spins in the paint. Puts up a shot. No good. But a foul is called. And this is going to go against Kinki Kalike. And that one goes against Charles Apuna. And that is his third personal foul. And it's going to put Bagoyo, A.J. Bagoyo, at the line shooting two. And Fonseca checking in for Maui High here at the next break. And there's also somebody for Kinke Kalike at the scorer's table. A minute six to go here in the third quarter. A four-point ball game, 32-28, Sabres on top. A.J. Bagoyo at the line. And he will be shooting two for the Maui High Sabres. His first shot is up and no good off the front of the rim. So Fonseca comes in as does Sorel Alfonso for Kinke Kalike. Borgoyo at the line, one more shot coming. It's on the way and this one is good. Boy, that one took two spins around the basket but finally fell in. We hit the one-minute mark here in the third quarter. Alfonso to the free throw line to Apuna. Apuna looks, gives it up to Ngoring. Ngoring drops it down inside for Thompson. Thompson going strong to the hole. Foul by Bagoyo. And Thompson's going to go to the line to shoot two. Thompson had Bagoyo beat by a step. And so all AJ could do was commit the foul. And again, it's going to put Don Thompson at the line shooting two and he's going to be his first foul shot to the night. First one's up hits the front of the rim and then curls in for him. Marquise McLeague checking in from Maui High. Going out will be Bagoyo. 51.9 seconds remaining here in our third quarter. Thompson at the foul line. Shot on the way. Got that one all net. He's got six on the night. Here comes the Sabres. McLeague not bashful about shooting. He fires up a long shot. No good. And then on the rebound try, we got Jake Frazee coming down over the back. I believe it was Bartleby he was fighting with for the rebound. Frazee picking up his second personal foul. And that'll give the ball back over to Kinki Kalike. And they can tie here. It's 33-30. Knocked down one of them Elijah and Goring threes and with the tie. And now we're going to have a timeout. We'll take a quick break ourselves. 37 and a half seconds before the end of the third quarter. We'll take a break. 33-30. Sabres on top of the Na'ali'i. We'll be back right after this. We're all on Maui's ESPN. <laughs> back here at the... Maui High School Gymnasium, 33-30 is the score. 37 and a half seconds before the end of the third quarter. Ball's inbounded by the Na'ali to get it into Alfonso. Guarded closely by Quinius. Alfonso picks up his dribble and he travels. Stopped in a little delay on getting this pass going. Dragged his back foot. That was a good call. And so the turnover gets the ball back over to Maui High. 28.9 seconds to go in the third quarter. Sabres up three and with the ball. Quinius quickly across midcourt. Almost lost the handle and now we got a reach in foul against Kinke Kalike. And that one's going to go against Sorel Alfonso. And that is his first personal foul. 16 foul. 16 fouls on Na'ali'i. Four on the Sabres. McLeague will inbound for Maui High at midcourt. They'll dump it into the backcourt, and with the ball now is Vallon, B.J. Vallon. They're going to spread it out and work for one last shot here. 15 seconds to go. Quinius with it. Quinius dribbles off to the right wing and dribbled it off of his foot. And a break for the Na'ali'i. They're going to get the ball back with 9.9 .9 seconds to go before the end of the third quarter. 
And Goring will bring it up. And Goring, Coach Yell, tells him the time. They go low post to Apuna. Three seconds. Apuna muscles up a shot, but before the shot, we've got a foul against Jake Frazee. That actually turns out to be a good foul for Maui High because not that does not allow uh, Kincaid to shoot because that's only the fifth team foul against against Maui High. Fonseca is going to check in for the Sabres during the break. Kincaid Kaliki is going to have Chasey Waddle Bartleby trigger the ball in and watch for him. He may get the ball right back after stepping on the floor here. Plenty of time for that with little, almost three seconds to go. <laughs> Bartleby. Gets it to Ngoring. He looks underneath for Bartlemy, and the ball got knocked away from him. The Sabres had that play red, and time expires at the end of the third quarter. 33-30. Maui High on top. We'll be back with the beginning of the fourth quarter right after these messages on Maui BSBN Radio. Have you ever wondered why a Coke from McDonald's just seems to taste so good? Maybe it's because it's just a dollar. Or maybe it's because it takes you back to... <laughs> I'm offer. 100% local program. Some moments you never forget. The breakthroughs. Doing the impossible. Taking things to the next level. Like launching the first high-speed internet in Hawaii. Or debuting the first Hawaiian language TV channel in the nation. Bringing you live high school sports on OC16. Oh, what a huge play! At Oceanic Time Water Cable, we've been proud to bring you unforgettable moments for more than 40 years. And we can't wait to bring you what's next. You're listening to Maui's ESPN radio station. KMVI AM 900 Kahului. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. go to start our fourth quarter of play. The ball's inbounded and there's a collision in midcourt and Charles Apuna picking up his fourth personal foul. And so going to the line is going to be Tristan Nichols as that is the seventh team foul against King Kikalike. One second into the fourth quarter and Nichols will be going to the line. Tristan Nichols is one for four from the free throw line. Nichols at the line. He's got the ball and lets it fly, and it is good. He earns the bonus for that one. Nichols uh, gets the ball once again here. And his next shot up, and he rattles that one down. Got them both. He is three of six on the evening, and he gives the Maui High Sabres a five-point lead, 35-30. And Goring, who has four threes in this ball game, with the ball, the way out near midcourt. He'll pass it over to Manugan, who's back in the ball game. Manugan looks inside, looks inside, drops it along the baseline corner to Bartleby. Bartleby works around this man, hangs in the air, kicks it out to Ngoring. Another three on the way. Got another one. Five threes for Elijah Ngoring in this ballgame. Maui High back at the other end of the floor. Rundle down along the baseline, forces up a shot. No good. Fights for the rebound. And Goring comes up with it. Lead pass ahead of everybody to Bartlemy. Bartlemy goes strong. Hangs off the air. Missed the shot, but that's because he was fouled. And I believe it's going to be B.J. Vallon picking up the foul. No, they're going to say it's Buckley who picked up the foul. Marquise Buckley gets his first personal. That is the sixth team foul against Maui High. Next one puts the not lead at the bonus, but right now we got Bartlemy shooting two, and he points the first one off the rim. No good. Bartlemy with just five points in this ballgame, none in the second half. Spent most of the third quarter on the bench after picking up his third personal foul. We're just underway in the fourth quarter. Bartlemy at the line. Shot comes up short. Missed them both. Here comes the Sabres back the other way. Fonseca sees the basket. Goes to the basket. Beat everybody down the floor. 
Daniel Fonseca with two. 37-33. Sabres on top. Not Lee with the ball. Bartleby tries to work his way inside. Puts up the little roller. And he does finally have his first two points here in the second half. And he draws the Nali to within two, 37-35. Malone goes high post to Rundle. Rundle bounce pass into Nichols. He hangs in the air, puts up the shot over the front of the rim. And Kristen Nichols with another two. And I believe he's in double figures now. Yes, he is. Bartleby with the ball to the left elbow. Drives inside, kicks it out to Ferreira. Three from the corner on the way. Comes up short. Bartleby there with the rebound. His put back. No good, but he was fouled once again. And so Chase Bartleby will go to the line. And the foul was on Tristan Nichols. That is his third personal foul. Bartleby going to the line, shooting two. And again, he comes up short. Bartleby struggling from the free throw line, and we're going to have timeout taken by Maui High. 6.20 to go in the ball game. 39-35. Sabres on top by four. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back right after this. Value. Dependability. Safety. Get it all now. During Maui Toyota's Get It All, Get It Now sales event. Get it all, get it now sales event. Maui Toyota. 320 Hana Highway in Kahului. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. Trailing by four, Kinkik Alike is Chasey Waddle Bartleby at the free throw line. And should he want to hit another one short off the front of the rim? Just does not have it dialed in here tonight. 39-35, Sabres on top. They come down the other way with it. Along with the ball, way out on the left wing, looks inside for Rundle. He's bottled up, can't have to get rid of it. Nichols pops out to take the pass. Nichols looks for a guard, gets up to Mateo, who's checked in. Mateo goes to the high post to Rundle, looks for Nichols inside, can't get it to him. Goes to B.J. Vallon, and he takes it to the right side and puts up a short little roller off the glass, good for two. Five points on the night for B.J. Vallon, and it's back to a six-point advantage for Maui High. Bartleby looks inside, takes it to the hole, puts up the shot, and it will not drop for him again. And he's going to go back to the free throw line, which has not been kind to Chase Bartleby. And that foul goes against number 30, Kai Rundle. That is his second personal foul. 18 foul on Maui High. And Bartleby back at the line shooting another two. First, we're going to wipe up some perspiration. We've got 5.38 to go here in the fourth quarter. 41-35. Sabres with the lead here on their home court. And we want to invite you to go to our website, ESPNMaui.com, and just click on Join the Club button, and you're going to get brought up to speed on our giveaway promotions and all kinds of good stuff. And there's some really good stuff coming down the pipe, too. So stick around, stay tuned, and go to our website, ESPNMaui.com. Bartleby at the line. Shot is up, and that one missed everything. And he is struggling. Quinius into the ball game. Mateo out for Maui High. Right now, Chase is kind of just dumbstruck. What's going on with his shot? And he gets that one to drop, though. Finally gets his first free throw since the first quarter. And he draws the Na'ali to within five. B.J. Milan across midcourt, guarded closely by Ingoring. Off to Rundle. Rundle gives it up to Fonseca. Left side wing, they go corner to Milan. Milan on the left, brings it back up on top with his dribble. Hands it off to Quinius. Quinius goes high post to Nichols. He turns, looks, he finds B.J. Milan open in the left corner. Shot on the way, and B.J. knocks down a three from deep in the left corner. And it's now an eight-point lead. Four, King the four Maui high. And now Bartleby goes, takes it to the hole. The ball rolled off the rim, though. Boy, he is just having a tough time getting those balls to drop. Milan into the attacking zone after the Sabres came up with a rebound. 
Malone will back out near midcourt. Under five to go in the ballgame. Malone takes it, gives it up to Quinius. Quinius picked up by Manugan. Going to have to make a move here. Quinius passes to the right side to Ponseca. Bartlemy reaches in, though, and knocks the ball away. And now Charles Zapuna will come into the ballgame for Kinky Kalike. He's got to be somewhat careful as he has four personal fouls. Thompson goes out for the Na'alii. Quinius picks up his dribble, hands it off to Rundle. Rundle trying to work against Pereira, takes it to the hole, and it got blocked by Apuna. Apuna goes up and swats that one out of bounds. Big time defensive play by Charles Apuna of King Kikaulike. Sabres set to inbound. Looking inside, looking inside. They go to Quinius, left side corner. A shot on the way from three. Off the rim, no good. Nichols keeps the ball alive, tips it to himself, and puts it up in the end. Nichols now with, I believe, left we'll added up, but I think he's got 13 on the night. 46-36, 10 point advantage. And Goring to the right side, takes it along the baseline. They get it to Bartlemy. Kicks it into the corner to Ferreira. Ferreira cross court to Ngoring. Three on the way. No good this time. And a long rebound trapped down by B.J. Villan. Gets it off. Gets a pass up, up the court. They find Fonseca underneath the basket to Rundle. Rundle lays it up in the end. Rundle with his, his tenth point of the night. And we're going to mop up some more perspiration here. And it is, all of a sudden, a 12-point advantage for Maui High. 3.38 to go in the ballgame. And a mop-up crew out there doing a good job. Nathan DeGuayo is going to check in during this dead ball moment here for the Maui High Sabres. Again, they lead 48-36, to 3.38 to go in the ballgame. And now we're going to have timeout taken. After all that, or no, now they're not going to take time out. They're going to say, hey, the floor is cleaned up. Let's get back to live action here. It'll be King Kick out Lique Ball, and they've got their work cut out for them here. Still plenty of time, though. 338 remaining fourth quarter. And Goring with it. He'll bring it up the floor, picked up by Quinius at midcourt, goes left side to Bartleby. With his dribble, he'll take it to the free throw line, hangs in the air, but then kicks it out to Apuna. Apuna tries to knife his way inside, and he muscles up a shot good for two. Charles Apuna with his fourth, third and fourth points of the night. Quinius, bird dog by Ingoring in the backcourt. Gets it down the floor, though, goes to Rundle. Rundle double team quickly up on top to Vallon. Vallon, with his dribble, guarded closely by Manugan. Looks for some help, finally gets it to Quinius. Quinius... Dribbles over to the left side. We hit the three-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Ten-point advantage for Maui High. Quinius in the corner, right side, up on top to DeGuayo. DeGuayo puts it on the floor with a dribble and passes to Quinius. DeGuayo in the corner again, right side. Bounce pass down inside. They tried to get it to Nichols, stolen away by Bartlemy. Bartlemy wants to run. Bartlemy in the paint, spin move. Step under move, takes it up, puts up the shot, no good again, but a foul is called. And that one goes against Charles Zapuna. No, it's not Charles Zapuna. It goes against 21 from Maui High, and that is Denzel Quinius. That is only his first personal foul. 19 foul on Maui High. Bartlemy at the free throw line. Boy, that one took a tour, but it finally did fall through for him. Nine points on the night for Chase Iwata Bartlemy for the Na'ali. He can get double figures. He can get this one in. Shot is on the way. Too hard off the back of the rim. And the rebound taken down by Maui High. They get it to Rundle. Rundle double team here. Midcourt gets it over to Ballon. Ballon down underneath the Nichols. Nichols puts up the shot. And a nice touch for the big boy. Down inside the paint, put it up and over the side of the rim. Maui High with the steal now as Mateo came up with it. And they're going to say it was last touched by Mateo as that ball got knocked out of bounds. And so Kinki Kaulike 
will have it with just 2.16 to go in the ball game, trailing by 11. And we got timeout taken by Maui High, so we'll take a break ourselves. Again, two minutes and 16 seconds left in the ball game. 50 to 39, Sabres on top. We'll be back right after this. And we're back here at the Maui High School Gymnasium. And trying to see here, if you had a score from Molokai in the, uh, the D2 girls basketball tournament, we'll pass that on to you here in just a moment. Right now, not lead with the ball, Iwato Bartomi takes it to the free throw line, tried to spin his way inside, pass back out, though, knocked around, and then Quinius runs over Alfonso. And so it'll be a foul on Quinius. That is his second personal foul for the Maui High Savers. Tenth team foul. And so Sorrell Alfonso going to the line. First one is up, and it is good. Now we're going to have another timeout here. Be a full timeout taken by King Kate Kalika. A minute 59 to go in the ballgame. 50 to 40, 10-point lead for the Sabres. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more right after this. For every child in Hawaii. A message from the Hawaii State Teachers Association. Great public schools are a basic right for every student. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. mentioned that we had a score from the uh, CK uh, Girls Basketball Tournament Division 2 and it was Molokai knocking off Kapa'a 41-35 the final in that one. Way to go Lady Farmers. Sorrell Alfonso at the foul line. Shot is up. It is good. So he gets them both. And the score now 50-41. Sabres on top. Minute 54 to go. Full court pressure applied by King Kikalike but Maui High gets it down the floor. Belong to Rundle. Rundle's got Nichols under the basket, but can't find him. Now they go back up on top to Belong, and he'll set up backward offense, and, and Goring's going to have to commit the foul. And they want to stop the clock, just a second foul on Elijah and Goring. Minute 40 to go. Sabres by nine, and it's going to be B.J. Belong going to the line. Now, he has not been to the line in this ballgame. This will be his first free throw. Coming up, and here it is, and that one is too hard off the rim, no good. And the rebound comes off to Kinkikalike. Ahead they go to Ngoring. Ngoring takes it to the baseline, kicks it back inside to Bartlemy. Ball is a little bit offline on the pass, and the Sabres come up with it. Now another foul in the backcourt. And that one goes against Ngoring once again. And that will be his third personal. Stops the clock with a minute 26 to go in the ballgame. And it's going to put B.J. Vallon back at the line again. This time shooting the front end of a one-and-one one again. Only the 19 foul against King Kekalika. Thompson's going to check in for the Na'ali before the foul shot, though. Charles Zapuna is going to come out. Well, it's set to go. Vallon at the line. His shot is up, and he got that one to go. And he earns the bonus. Shot on the way. That one's too short off the front of the rim. And a rebound grab. And I think we have a foul against Maui High, or what do we got here? And we're going to have a foul on Kai Rundle. And the ball was loose, and they were fighting for it. And I think Rundle got some contact up on the head of Chase Iwato Bartleman. And so Chase at the line. And the shot on the way, and it is good.
chases only four of ten from the foul line in this ball game. And they trail by nine. Shot on the way. That one's too hard. No good. Nichols with the rebound, and he's immediately fouled by Elijah and Goring. And all of a sudden, Goring now with four personal fouls. And that's going to put Tristan Nichols at the line. Shooting two is that'll be the 10th team foul against Kinke Kaolike. So it's double bonus time for this final minute 23 of the ball game. Nichols at the line again. He'll be shooting two. And the first one is up, and it is no good. Nichols is four of eight from the line in this game. And his next shot is up. That's no good. Missed them both. And now we're going to have the ball knocked out of bounds. Sabres trying to make the not elite use as much time as possible coming down the floor. Finally, Alfonso gets it to Angoran. He'll fire up a three. That one's offline. No good. Fight for the rebound. Bartlemy had the inside position, but Nichols hit the ball and ended up knocking it off of Bartlemy's leg, so it goes out of bounds, and it'll belong to Maui High. Again, the not elite will show full court pressure here with a minute 12 to go. Nine-point lead from Maui High. The ball is inbounded. They get it to Mateo. He took off running down the floor with it. Well, was fouled nonetheless. He was trying to get away from everybody. And that one's going to go against Alfonso, just his second personal foul. But again, double bonus time for Maui High. And going to the line to shoot two is Janelle Mateo. And he's looking for his first two points of the ball game, or actually his first point of the ball game. And the first foul shot up, and no good. A minute 11 to go in the fourth quarter. Mateo's next shot on the way. That one all net. Got one of two. And it's a 10-point lead for Maui High once again, 52-42. And Goring takes it in the paint, dumps it down along the baseline. Bartlemy shot up, and he got it to go. And a quick timeout taken by uh, Coach Bill Naylor. And I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll take a quick break. A minute two to go in the ballgame. 52-44, not Lee trying to scrape their way back. We'll take a break. All in card only. Prices and participation may vary. Limited time offer. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. Back here at the Maui High School Gymnasium. And we got a minute two to go in this ballgame. 62 seconds in regulation. And it's going to be Maui High ball. They lead 52 to 44. Nichols set the inbound for Maui High. Now a lead. We'll look to foul right away. They get it to Rundle. Rundle with the ball. Stolen away by Bartlemy. Takes it straight to the hole. Puts up the shot. No good, but a foul is called. Great anticipation on that pass. And that's going to go against Tristan Nichols on the foul. Nichols picking up his fourth personal foul. But he waddled Bartlemy. Did a great job anticipating that pass to come up with the steal. Now he's got to hit the free throws. The first one's up, hit the back of the rim, and then fell back through for him. Fifty-two forty-five. Shot on the way. Got them both. Fifty-two forty-six. Sabers get the ball inbounded. They get it to Mateo. And Mateo takes it down the floor, and they pass over to Nichols. Nichols goes up strong, hits the bucket, and he is fouled on the play. I'm not sure why Austin Ferreira did not commit the foul when they had the man trapped in the corner. Because it's Ferreira who had to hustle over, and he committed the foul anyway on Nichols. They had a chance to commit the foul. I believe it was Rundle who had the ball in the corner. 
and they opted to let him go, and he found Nichols under the basket. Herrera hustled over and committed the foul and puts Nichols at the line looking for a three-point play. And the shot is up, and it's too hard off the back of the rim. And Manugan comes up with the foul. Then Nichols goes over and commits a silly foul. And for Nichols, that is his... Foul. The frustration on Coach Lloyd Leverett's face when Nichols committed that fifth foul. A very silly foul in the backcourt. Now, just remember, this kid's only a sophomore. He's got a great future ahead of him. And he fouls out here with 45 seconds remaining. And I've got him for 18 points in this ballgame. Big factor tonight for Maui High. At the line is Manugan. His first free throw is no good. He's got one more coming. Manugan looking for his first points of the ball game. Still an eight point lead. Shot on the way, in and stayed in. And so it's 54-47. Sabres got a hustle inbound. They get it to Ballon. Ballon quickly up the floor to Fonseca and he's tied up by Bartleman. And Bartleby's going to be called for the foul. And that is going to be his fourth personal foul. And that's going to put Fonseca at the line. And he'll be shooting too. And to wipe up more perspiration. 42 seconds remaining. 54-47. Na'ali'i trailing Maui High and trailing him by more as Fonseca hits the free throw. Just his sixth point of the night. Fonseca with another shot coming. It's on its way. It is good. Got them both. 56-47 back to a nine-point lead. Manugan quickly down the floor. Stops, pops, puts up the shot. Rolls off the rim. No good. And the Sabres come up with the rebound, and now Ferreira ends up fouling B.J. Vallon. And that is going to be Austin Ferreira's fourth personal foul. And it comes with 33 seconds left in the ballgame. And the Sabres go into the line trying to pad a nine-point lead. B.J. Vallon at the line. And the first shot is up and good. Vallon now in double figures for the Sabres. And he missed the next one, though. Rebound comes off to Ferreira, quickly ahead to Bartlemy. Bartlemy taking it down the floor, kicks it in the left corner, and Goring three on the way, up and good. Elijah and Goring. Six threes in this ball game. We've got a timeout taken quickly by the Maui. Uh, check that by Kinki Kalike. They're going to take a full timeout. So we'll take a break ourselves. 24 seconds remaining. 57-50 is the score. Sabres on top. We'll be right, right back after this. Takamiya Market is where local folks go for local fiddle giant in Happy Valley. You're listening to MIL Basketball on Maui's ESPN. 24.1 seconds left. Maui High has to inbound me, but it's stolen away by Bartlemy, and he takes it up and puts it in. Chase Bartlemy with another two, and now he has to commit a foul. That's going to be his fifth. Came up with a big bucket when they needed it, but then he had to commit the foul to stop the play, and Chasey Waddle Barnaby is fouled out with his fifth personal foul. He only had five points in the first half. Let's quick, do a quick tally on him here, though. And he ends the game with 16 points. 
So 11 second half points for Chase Bartleby. But only 16 seconds remaining. And Jake Frazee going to the line. And coming in for Kinke Kaulike. It's going to be Duke Doyle to take the place of Chase Uato Bartleman. And Jake Frazee will be going to the line. He'll be shooting two. Fifty-seven, fifty-two, five-point lead, and Frazee misses the free throw. This game is still within reach for Kinke Kaulike. Especially when you got a guy like Ngoring who's knocked down six three-pointers in this game. Brzee's shot is off the rim. No good, but Rundle comes up with the rebound. He's putback will not go. And now it is Manugan. Ten seconds down the floor to Alfonso. Back to Manugan. Three on the way. Got it! <laughs> I think Molly High's out of timeouts. They commit a foul with one second left. Oh, my. Now Lee not wanting to go away. They're down two. The foul is on Manugan. That is his second personal foul. 57-55. Akuna is going to check back in for Kinke Kaulike. 1.1 second on the clock. Going to the line is B.J. Volong. If he knocks them both in, it's a done deal. And now they have changed the clock to 0.8 seconds. Eight tenths of a second left. So enough time for a, a heat-ho down the floor here, depending on what happens with the free throws of B.J. Vaughn. Now they put... More time back on the clock. Again, 1.7 is what they put on the clock. 1.7. So definitely time for a rebound, maybe one dribble, and let it fly. 57-55, Maui High by two. B.J. Vallon at the line. Shot is up. He got it. Big free throw there. And he's got one more coming. But first, we're going to have a timeout. We'll keep it right here. 1.7 seconds remaining. 30-second timeout taken by Coach Lloyd Leverett. 58-55. B.J. Vaughn will be at the line following this timeout. If he gets it, he steals it from Maui High. If he misses, there is time for a miracle play for Kinke Kaulike. And we go back and you think of all those missed free throws for Kinke Kaulike. Throughout this game, we'll have to get the get the total stats on them for you, but numerous misses. Here we go. BJ Vaughn will be at the line. Kinke Kaulike has missed 10 free throws in this ballgame. And they trail by three with 1.7 seconds left. Shot is up, and it is good. He got them both. And at the Maui High, had, the, had that, and then Kinke Kaulike inbounded. Elijah and Goring let fly with a three at the buzzer. It did not go. And so Maui High has come up with a big victory here. 59-55 to 55 over Kinke Kaulike. We'll take a quick break. And then we'll be back to recap it for you. Stick around. More coming your way on Maui's ESPN Radio. Maui County Federal Credit Union. We care about you and your family. We care about serving our community. We care about you. 